Hi, it's Eric again, and now is the big deal. I'm gonna show you how to make schedule. So let's just get into action. That's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna get rid of the loop for now. I'm gonna start with my basic or clips over here. I think I've lost one. Yeah, the music, I don't even need it. Yeah, so this is what we can do. Uh, in I told you how to get your things back to white, didn't I? So you're gonna stop here and double click here. It's gonna make it white again. All right, that's good. Look, whenever you read time, you can see that whenever you do anything, if you move, whatever you do, it read times for you automatically. If you, if you, okay, let me just duplicate this a couple of times so you see what is actually going on. My shift key is not working, so if you can hear me, that's what I'm trying to make it work. Alright, so let's just duplicate this a couple of times just because I want you to see the the timing getting changed. So if we move anything, we take a good little look at the time, it changes. You see the time swaps. Did you see that? Uh watch watch the time changes. That means it's automatically retiming and this isn't good for scheduling because if you want to schedule and you move one thing, you're gonna mess up all your schedule time, which is not so good. But that's not so bad because we have a function be that's because you are in auto mode we've got schedule mode and auto mode so you want to make sure which one you are using if you want if you want to switch back to set schedule mode what you want to do is uh, I, I wish before I switch back let me show you what I mean very importantly so let me just get rid of all of this uh, for now let's start to make a shadow let's say this short video we wanted to start at a specific time let's say we wanted to start uh, on March set right good so it changes that to 3rd March and everything below it is changed as well that's not so bad okay so we want this one to start but we let me add another shop video so the moment we do anything like duplicate or whatever the time changes to the current time to the current date which is so bad which is really really bad because we added a new file you change our schedule so what we need to do is to make sure you are in schedule mode by right clicking on the read time button and you can see that you are already set to auto mode a right click on read time you can switch back to schedule mode what it is is that it locks the read time function so it doesn't read time anymore so if you click on read time you can see that nothing is happening but if you go back to auto and read time then it's gonna work so if you set it to shuttle well no matter what you do you move or whatever because you're in schedule mode it's not gonna read time you can do whatever you want to do it's not gonna read time as well so let's just set it to white again and we can delete all this so now we are good to go we are good to make a schedule so we get to make a schedule so what we can do is we cannot go in here and set any date for this one we can say on the 7th we set this one to 7th and it's gonna stay on the 7th yeah do it in March so it's March my my time my date and time is set to month day and then year so we set this to 7th and you can see that only that one changed to 7th the rest of them stay where they are so we can go into time and say this one we're gonna change this one to 22nd and that one changes to 22nd this one's 7 this one's that so that's how you make a schedule uh, you want to make sure that you right click and put in the schedule mode and that's it and once you're in schedule mode you don't need to do anything you just all you need to do is to hit start and that's gonna start and it's gonna do it when the time is up you don't need to hit read time anymore once you're in schedule mode you just need to hit on start when you finish when you're done with your scheduling just hit on start and just wait for the time that you set it's gonna come so to, to put that in action let me just to quickly do something uh, really quick here so I'm gonna do I'm gonna set it to now the date now uh, I'm gonna set this one to like um it's not to uh, to to 55 so we're gonna set this one to to three oh oh yeah so that's when I want this one to start free oh 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 it's, it's passed already <laughs> oh, the time's too quick for my thinking uh, so we need to do it for for oh oh that's the next when it gets to four oh oh that's when it's gonna start the show up and we're gonna set this one to four four thirty so four thirty uh, thirty seconds after that thirty seconds after that it's gonna play this one and then we're gonna set that one to for 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 fifth 
fifty forty one or something like that. So now when we start, nothing is happening. Uh, it's gonna stay there though. It's playing. Nothing is happening until it gets to four four o o. See, nothing is happening now because we're in schedule mode, and that's all we need to do. Just type when it's four o o. Look at it. It's gonna start play the shop one. That's it. Four o o. Started playing the shop one. So that's how to do your schedule. And it's gonna wait thirty seconds later. It's gonna stop playing that one. Even though it finishes playing, it's not gonna go nowhere. It's gonna stay there because the time for the next one is not up yet. So we set that to four thirty. You can see that over here. The the milk is set to four thirty. So it's gonna wait till that time. It's not gonna do anything. There you go. Four thirty is up. So it goes to the milk. And the next one we have is four forty one. So wherever the milk has got into, and it's four forty one, it's gonna jump onto it. There we go. It jumps onto it. So that's how to make a schedule. You want to make sure you're in schedule mode, and then you just only have to start it, and then it's gonna work for you. All right. So that's how to make a schedule. So uh, we can use a combination of ad program to create a whole week schedule if you want. So let me just stop this for a moment, and then just. Uh, set us back to it and what is usually you gotta do is um uh what, what is usually you, you can do is now i uh, i will set this back to auto for the meantime i just want to reset all the time all right so they are okay all right so what we can do is now we can make a shadow in so sort of we can make a shadow in sophisticated away we can add a program we can call this monday uh or we could say Monday uh, Monday what do you call it Monday uh, talk show talk show so Monday talk show uh, just I just want to name it that way Monday talk show so what I do is Monday talk show I can I can put the stuff uh, that I want to be played in Monday's uh, talk show and those stuff in it will be automatic uh, we just want to put we want to do that auto we don't want that one to be scheduled so that one will be auto because everything that is in there will be scheduled uh will be retimed when it gets there so we don't want to we want to make that one auto but we want to make the main one scheduled since our main list so in our main list we can go in there and then I can let me just get rid of all this so in Monday talk show I can put uh, specific things inside here that's my Monday talk show and they are auto so when it gets there it's gonna I can now change the time for Monday talk show so I, the Monday talk shows that's uh, on Monday fit and then it's that at a particular time it starts around let's say it's that around one or one, well, one o'clock in the morning on Monday that's when the talk show starts so I set the date for that one you know I can duplicate that and then I can bring it down and change it to Monday uh, Monday evening news even news I just I'm just uh, putting something so in the evening news I can set it to same day Monday and then I can set it that one to six o'clock in the evening or wherever it is and then so on and so forth so and then we go to we go into that program and we put the stuff that makes up the uh monday evening program here we can put anything here and so that's how you can do it so what it is is the uh this thing is gonna actually play when you start your schedule is gonna play at a specific time that you set for it so you can do that for the whole week and do whatever sort of schedule stuff that you want to do so that's how you schedule in the v task and then i hope it's been fun and you always want to make sure which mode you're working with and it's gonna be good it's been fun and i'll see you in some other tutorial take care